Is the all-new Meter 2 Plus the best wireless probe thermometer you can buy? I'm going to review it in this video and we're going to find out, so let's get smoking. Meter sent me their new Meter 2 Plus probe to try out, so in this video I'm going to go over some of the key improvements over the original Meter Plus and I'm going to do a few tests to see if it really stands up to the hype, starting with temperature accuracy. The most obvious change is the Meter 2 Plus has five temperature sensors to monitor the internal temperature of the meat instead of just one sensor like this original meter plus. This is so if you don't get the probe right in the center of the meat it doesn't really matter because the app will show you the coldest temperature that the sensors are picking up which is usually in the geographic center of the meat. The other thing I found it useful for is it gives you a better idea of the internal temperature everywhere in the meat that you're cooking. For example you can look at the app and the sensor on the tip of the probe is showing you the temperature at the center of the meat and all of the other sensors are showing you the gradient temperatures from the center all the way to the exterior this can give you a better picture of how your meat is cooking and you can kind of anticipate when the center is going to be fully cooked based on that data so for example let's say you have a piece of meat here we're looking at a cross section it's going to have temperature gradient bands it's going to have the center here let's say that's at 100 degrees this band is at 120 degrees and let's say on the very exterior of the meat it's around 150 degrees so you have your meter probe sticking all the way in like this and you have various temperature sensors, one, two, three, four, five. So this one on the outside is reading 150. This one is reading 120. This one on the very center is reading 100. So when you look at that on the app, I can kind of predict when this is going to be done in the center based on the temperature of these exterior gradient bands. This is, for example, maybe 110. And this is only 120. Let's say I'm cooking it sous vide or really low and slow then I know that it's not gonna get to my target temperature of 130 degrees, for example, for a pretty long time because it's cooking really slowly. So it just gives you a better idea of what's going on throughout the entire piece of meat. So the five internal temperature sensors are a great addition. The Meter 2 Plus also goes down to decimals instead of whole numbers like the original Meter Plus. So you can see how temperature is moving in real time. Again, a really great addition. But the big question is, is the Meter 2 Plus actually accurate? That's the most important part of any remote probe thermometer that we have. And a lot of my viewers have expressed concerns over the original Meter Plus's ambient probe thermometer not registering an accurate temperature. So I'm interested to see if that has been improved on the Meter 2 Plus. So I inserted the Meter 2 Plus in a brisket I was reheating and inserted two more temperature sensing probes from different brands alongside it. I also measured the ambient temperature with again two additional probes. After looking at the data, I found the internal temperature on the Meter 2 Plus was bang on, very consistent with the other probes, so no issues with the internal temperature at all. But the ambient sensor still suffered from the same issues that the original Meter Plus has. That issue is called temperature hysteresis, which basically means that the ambient probe temperature reading on the Meter 2 Plus is affected by the temperature of the probe itself. So that means depending on the original temperature of the ambient probe sensor, it's going to take a few minutes to either heat up or cool down to catch up to the new temperature every time temperature fluctuates so you're going to have a lag period where the ambient temperature probe is not accurate that being said if you're cooking or smoking on something that has really consistent steady temperatures you're not going to have an issue the ambient probe should be really accurate because it's had time to equilibrate at that temperature but if you're cooking on something with temperature fluctuations like an offset smoker you're just going to have to keep in mind that every time the temperature swings up or down to some significant degree the ambient probe is going to take a few minutes to catch up to that temperature so it's always going to be lagging the true temperature. Okay moving on to temperature maximums. The Meter 2 Plus now boasts a higher internal temperature maximum of 221 degrees so if you're the kind of psychopath who likes to take their briskets or roasts up to 210 degrees internal you can do that now. But most impressively the maximum ambient temperature is now 932 degrees which means you can now leave the meter in the meat and sear it over a grill or even open flame. And it's also rated for deep frying so you can leave the probe submerged in hot oil pretty cool if it's true to test out the direct heating grilling capabilities i put the meter 2 plus in my sacrificial chunk of brisket and seared it over an open flame on my weber kettle it worked fine for a few seconds so it'd be great if i was just getting a quick sear 
But eventually the ambient temperature got close to a thousand and probably above that and it started to warn me to remove it from the heat, so I did. That being said, I did do some grilling over just charcoals, which was at a lower temperature, and it seemed to work just fine at that lower temperature. So will it work for grilling and searing? Yes, as long as the temperature isn't too high. Will it work for open fire cooking? That is debatable. Maybe if it's far enough from the flames and the temperature is low enough under a thousand degrees, but if the flames are licking the meat and it's close to the flame, Games, it's going to get above a thousand degrees Fahrenheit pretty quickly, so I don't think it'll work in that circumstance. Now let's take a look at whether you can deep fry with it. I inserted the meter 2 plus in a chicken and deep fried it for 15 minutes in a pot of 350 degree oil. I immediately noticed that the ambient temperature reading was way off. It was reading 400 degrees and I verified with two other thermometers that the oil was only at 350 degrees, so not really sure what's going on there, but I wouldn't rely on the ambient probe when deep frying. When the meter told me it was done to my desired temperature, I removed it and I temped the chicken and it was at exactly the same internal temperature the meter told me, so that worked perfectly. So can you deep fry with the meter 2 plus? Yes, absolutely, and the internal temperature probe works perfectly in that scenario, I just wouldn't rely on the ambient probe at all. Okay, let's move on to Bluetooth range. A lot of my viewers complained that the original Meter Plus didn't have the greatest range and they disconnected in certain areas of their house. That was a common complaint that I got. So I'm interested to see if the range has improved. According to Meter, the Meter 2 Plus now has Bluetooth 5.2 long range coded Phi technology, which is supposed to greatly enhance range. They say 330 feet through light obstacles and 3,000 feet in open air. With the original Meter Plus, I was only able to get around 75 feet of range in my house through obstacles like a concrete wall, a couple sheets of drywall, and maybe some furniture in the way. So I'm really interested to see if the Meter 2 Plus is going to do any better. Now I did find that I lost connection with the device less often in certain areas of my house, so I definitely think there's been an improvement in range, but unfortunately my connection still dropped in areas of my house that were furthest from the device and down in the basement. So I think if you're in my situation and you have the walls of a metal smoker, a concrete wall, a couple sheets of drywall, you'll be lucky if you get get 100 feet of range, but if you only have light obstacles, maybe it has to pass through only two sheets of drywall and you're only 50 feet away or even 100 feet away, but it only has to pass through a window, I think you're going to get great connection and great range. But in my situation, down in the basement, concrete in the way, it doesn't really connect that well. That being said, I don't even recommend using the Bluetooth capabilities on the Meter 2 Plus at all. Just get an old device, download the Meter app on it, and use the Meter Cloud feature. That will connect the Meter 2 Plus to your home Wi-Fi, and you can get unlimited range, which means you don't have to worry about dropping connection anywhere in your house, and you can actually go to the grocery store and see what your temperature is reading because it's all sent to the cloud. So there is a feature that allows you to get unlimited Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi through the meter cloud, so I don't tend to dwell on Bluetooth range at all, I just use my meter cloud. And finally, there's a bunch of other improvements to the meter 2 plus. It's 30% thinner, so it goes into meat much easier. It charges faster, it holds a charge for longer. I tested this one and it lasted over 20 hours on just one charge. It's 100% waterproof, so you can use it for sous vide and deep frying and put it in the dishwasher to clean it and they have revamped cooking video recipes through Meter Masterclass, so there's a ton of good things to say about this device. So it's still early days and I've only tested the Meter 2 Plus for a week, but based on this specific device that Meter sent me and based on my testing over the past week, I do recommend the Meter 2 Plus. It has great improvements over the original Meter Plus, and I would definitely pick the Meter 2 Plus over the original Meter Plus, hands down. And I also think, despite some of the deficiencies that I pointed out in this video, it is the best wireless remote probe thermometer you can get on the market right now. I'll leave a link in the description to buy the Meter 2 Plus if you guys want to pick it up, which I recommend that you do. And if you do pick it up, then let me know in the comments section how it works out for you and your opinion on it. I'll see you in the next video, and until then, happy smoking.